Hold on, let me put my screen up. Okay. How are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? Good. I uh, The last time I talked to you on Skype was like 2016 or something. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. All right, so I, I'm confused here. You killed the spy, you got out of the spy. Like, I, well, oh, no, I, I'm still in, but yesterday I killed the spy. And I just got up this morning and went back in. I still went back into the, in the 280 that expires on 322. I okay. killed the one that expired. Uh, you had the expiration. Yeah. The okay, so then you're in the 322 280s. Correct. And I'm in the uh, queues, the 175s um, that expire on 322. Okay, let's look at the spy first here. First of all, what do you want to do with this? Um, well, I'm, I'm happy to hold it if the market looks strong enough. I'm up $300 in that, and I'm up um, about $600 in the queues. So what do you, okay, here's the SPY. Let me look at the queues. What you could do, and this is totally, totally, totally up to you, you could get out of one and hold the other, or you could hold them both. I wouldn't get out of both. That I would not do. So. It's like either you're going to hold them both or you get out of one and what, you know, I mean, looking here at the charts, I do think the skews look stronger than the SPY, but the SPY is a longer way to go. So bigger target in the SPY, but the cues are stronger and you're up more in the cues. What do you think? I feel the same. I mean, I think if there was anything I would kill, it would be the SPY and just maybe go back in it again tomorrow. <laughs> you're like trading it every day. <laughs> Well, I don't care about that. You know, it's like, um, I'm just kind of hanging out right now. So No, that's okay. That's, that's good. I mean, the target for, the dream target for the Qs is 180. I mean, today's high was like getting closer and closer and closer to that 178. Um, yeah. So, But that would be the dream target for the Qs in the time of it. And then the SPY really... I mean, there's three hours left of the day, which is a long time here. So either we don't, we sideline here the rest of the day, or, I mean, if we move higher here through this area we're at right now, 282, into the close, I mean, we're definitely higher, definitely higher the rest of the week. So it's kind of like you could sit and watch it for the next couple hours, see what happens here, or just get out of this and hold the cues, or what do you want to do? I think I'll hold the cues, and I'll just kind of watch the spy. Yeah, because um, you see what they see the chart. You see the chart? Yes, I can see it. So basically, you see where if we get over that next area, it's going to just pop. Right. Well, we got three hours left in the day. It's a long time. It really is. 282.10. Well, again, these are areas. Did you do Google or you didn't? It wasn't, wasn't cheap. I didn't do Google. Um, I... I have cash, a lot of cash free now. I can do it, but I didn't want to jump in today, obviously. It's obviously. Kind of taken off, yeah. Yeah. What about, did you do Netflix? That is, <clears throat> that was another one I was like, I think this is going to do something soon, too. I didn't do it. I wondered if I could still get in that. Yeah, you could still do it. I mean, you could do it out farther if you want, but, I mean, this is obviously, I, maybe I should have called this out a little farther, but I, I, this is going to do something soon. Maybe I'll take it out a little further. What are you thinking about on dates? I mean, it's only the only will be one more week till the end of the month. If you don't want to do the end of the month, I'd do it out for a whole entire month, which would be like the middle of April. Wow. I don't see what that costs if you want to look that up. Here, I'm just looking at Apple here today. And then cost, did you do? Did you do cost or not? I don't think you did. I didn't. Oh, crap. I the Look at that. Hmm? I actually got burned in it. I, I just didn't watch. I had a little something happen with work, and I lost my concentration. But, what, um, what, you did or you didn't do it? I didn't do it this time. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm on, though. I've been trading every day, so, um, you know, I'm back. All right, so I think you're doing good. I think this is good advice. Watch this here today. See if it pops on through. It gets over 82 or 282 with any momentum in the SPY. If it does, hold it into the close. If not, get out of it. In reference to the cues, if you want to hold on to this one because you have more of it and you're up more in this, then fine. And then, um, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else you want to go over. I think you're doing good. I don't know if you need to review anything with gaps or not or if you're just... Of course you're doing well, and these, these are all longs. <laughs> if he 
these were puts, you'd be you'd be like, ah. <laughs> I know you'd die if I did a show. I do puts every once in a while. I've actually made some money in some of your option, you know, put calls. It's not that. It's just lately we haven't had any really. Uh, well, actually, the last one didn't work. I mean, it puts have been hard. They've been hard to, to deal with, well, you know. You know, the last put you called in Home Depot, I accidentally bought a call. Oh, I know. You told me that. Actually, that one did work. There was one before that that didn't work. I, no, I got didn't. that message from you. I, I was I, like, what the I, hell did she do? Huh? I didn't lose any money in it after I, I just held it. Till it was <laughs> did you do that on purpose, though, or as a mistake? No, it was a total accident. I was on the phone with my attorney, and I, and I made a trade, and I was like, and I got in my car, and I was like, oh, oh, oh so no. Well, I stopped, which was like a half hour later, and I was like, well, too late now. I'm just going to have to wait for this to turn around. That is a funny one. Yeah. I guess I've been around the market long enough. I, I know when I need to freak out and when I don't, you know? No, I don't think there's any reason to freak out now at all, which is funny because a lot of people were freaking out about the market in general, which I, I really, this was a great, this is, this was a beautiful call. <laughs> I mean, this is just such a nice call to see that this would happen. But I pretty much saw it last Monday, which is why that Q's trade from last th th three, four, I thought, well, that one, and I thought it would go this on this day, then it didn't. But then, but then it did anyways, you know, so it took a, it took about a week. Was there a reason you just got out of the spy just because you were scared because of the, the Friday or you just weren't a hundred percent or. I was just really worried about, you know, the, the short term of it because it was just a two day trade and the Friday date. So I killed it and went back into the longer duration. So, I mean, I'm kind of comfortable like holding them both really i i know you know you think i'm crazy sometimes no i don't i don't think you're crazy i think i think i think i think these are nice calls and the market i've said, I said that on an email the other day i mean pretty much every trade i've called in the market in 2019 has worked so i i have no problem with you holding these now what did you did you look up netflix what is the april 15th or what is the friday of the april one what do they cost 16 or... i'm sorry hold on one second i was watching your chart and doing a couple other things sorry one second and i'll tell you if i think it's worth it or not <clears throat> Okay, we might have a dog bark in a minute. Bear with me if that happens. The dog walker's coming. So. Okay. Um. I had serious computer problems this morning. I had to go get a different, I had to get a splitter. I had to walk all the way up to, B, to Best Buy. Then they didn't have it. Then I had to go to B&H. I thought if my whole computer crashed, it was just a splitter. Oh, that's good. I know. I mean, thank God. Just unplugged it and plugged it back in. I was like, oh, thank God, because I thought I was going to lose everything. <clears throat> refresh me on that Netflix. Um, Netflix 360 uh, calls. See what they cost for the second week of April, whatever the Friday is. Maybe I'll call it for the little. I don't know. Maybe I didn't give enough time for this, but I think this is going to pop. Second week of April? Yeah. So April 12th, okay. That's, that's April 12th, right? I don't know. I have to look at a calendar. What is it? I th I, I'm just kind of winging it. That seems right to me. Um, okay, buy those. And what are we looking at? Market. We're looking at... Um, oh, it's not. April 5th. No, April 12th, yes. Yeah, April 12th. Okay. We're looking at 13.90 a call. Um, okay, no, that's too expensive. That's too expensive. That is expensive. Um, okay. All right, you didn't do the one I called, and I'm not going to call one at that price, so just leave it. If I see something here, I'll call another one. Don't do not do it then if you didn't do it. But you would have gotten a good price if you had done it yesterday. But anyways, just leave it. Leave it Leave it go. Right. But uh, This could go, but then you won't get that one. Don't worry about it. I'm upset that you that you didn't do the cost. That one you should have did. I know. I'm bummed, too. I just um, <clears throat> I got real wrapped up in the cues and the spies, and I was like, oh, man, i got to free up some cash. Because I'd taken some cash and moved it around in my account. Um, but it's I've got cash free, so. You know. Or did you, are you risking 300, 400, 500? What are you risking on these I now? I could do like, um, well, let's see, on my on my queues, I've got, I think I've got five. Let me look, I don't know what I have. So. Five contracts? Yeah, I've got five contracts. So I've got what? I usually do about somewhere between five and a thousand. Okay. Uh, you know, right now I've got um, 9.30 in the queues and I've got 700 in the SPY. Profit. I've got $1,600 invested and I'm up okay. 979. 
So that's a pretty good return. Yeah, and that's good because you just did these. I'm up 59% in one day. Yeah. So so it's totally, totally your call. So what do you want to do here? You want to let him ride? Both or you want to let it ride? I think if it's... anything happens between now and the close, I'll definitely get out of the spy and um, go back in probably if I think it's falling apart. But I don't think the market's going to fall apart. I, I don't mean... think it's going to either. I think this is the lift. And I think if anybody... If I think if anything, more buying will come in here imminently, which I pretty much saw, like I said, on the fourth, but it didn't. It took a week, so I think buying's going to come in soon. And when that does, then it's going to then it's going to take off like a rocket. This isn't a nice rally, but this isn't a rocket yet. I mean, who the heck knows? The market, the way that it looks right now, is so strong to me. If we do get some serious buying come in, we could be back up near the highs. This could be a megalodon trade. If you're okay with the risk you have one, and if you're okay with holding them both, then do it. I'm, I'm comfortable with that. You know, I like risk. Yeah. And since you took the one out, another week out, I think it's okay. Today's yeah, I Wednesday. think I'm good, too. I mean, I watch every day. So thanks for, uh, thanks for talking. I know. Good to talk to you. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Okay, you Take too. Care. Bye.